Lindbergh scored one of the five Blackhawks goals last night in the loss. He's got goals in three consecutive home games. And this draw here is apparent to check. He got it away from Van Royen to the right wing corner, Erdman. Then for Hillman, turning below the right circle, out to the line, Brown, up the boards, and now back to the deep slot. Reed avoids the defender, now shoots, and Reinhold makes a clean save with Hillman at the top of the crease, and against Linka was hustling up the ice, but overskated it. Watkins on left wing, drop pass, left wing boards. Long try by Van Royen, saved by Vashon, rebound free, Vashon a second save, and he covers it up. It's a wide turn, maybe a three on two look. Mustard to the offensive zone, trying to drop pass, didn't find Deering. Clark fed it out to center, and it's a foot race into the Blackhawks zone. Bettini gets a step, and a backhander missed the goal. Townsend trying to set something up for Deering, and it didn't materialize right near the slot between the circles. And now Bettini for Larati. Back for Bettini. Centered one. One on one chance. Des Moines gets the goal, and the Buccaneers go in front on the score by Andrew Clark. A good puck passing play. And Clark, the finish, left one-on-one -on -one against Vashon, 7. 57 of the second period, the time of that Des Moines goal. Just enough, and shovels it behind the goal for Lindbergh. Back for Miller, he drives one over the crossbar off the end glass, and it comes down for Brown above the right circle. For Thorson, same corner. Thorson into the circle, then for Lindbergh behind the goal. Lindbergh drops it into the slot, Waterloo scores! It deflects in off the Buccaneer, and Gavin Lindbergh has a power play goal for the Blackhawks. Here come the Hawks at 10.34 of the second period. Lindbergh keeps his string of goals coming. And now for the third year Blackhawk veteran, Gavin Lindbergh has six on the season. Surrounded and swept it ahead, but Ford cut it off at the Des Moines line. Chips a pass to Dyer, back across the width of the ice. The carom picked up by the Buccaneers, Minahan. Then for Ford at the Blackhawk line, has a lane into the zone, turns towards the net in the circle. He was cut off, now chips it to the late coming Van Royen for a wrist shot, tipped in by Minahan. Paul Minahan, a terrific tip at the side of the goal, and the Des Moines Buccaneers go back in front, 2-1 to one at 7.43 of the third period. That was a rising shot by Van Royen. Minahan was outside the... Crease and got that one at a sharp angle and no chance for Vashon on a puck that looked like it would be about five feet wide. So the Blackhawks will have to rally again. They came back from a one goal deficit. The Hawks get it back toward the line. It never made it to Kerr though. And Keevan to the Blackhawks zone for West on left wing. West shoots, blocker saved by Vashon. Rebound picked up by Townsend for Waterloo. Then does Linka out to center. Zlinka to the red line. Dumps it down into the right wing corner. Chased by Brown, could not get there. Taken back by Margano. He gives it up to Connor Brown. A steal, drops it into the slot. A shot by the Hawks. Erdman saved by Reinhold, and now Erdman scores! Here come the Hawks. Griffin Erdman found the rebound and swept it in. And the Blackhawks have leveled the count at two each way as Griffin Erdman scores for a fourth consecutive game. Erdman tying it up after the Buccaneer turnover deep in their own zone. 14-56, the time of the game tying score. And for Griffin Erdman, that is number six this season. Erdman had the first shot, Reinhold stopped it. Erdman got the net with 10 seconds left to go before this one would need overtime. Lindbergh steers it out in front, broken up by Kernan. It's along the right wing boards. Thorson trying to get to it, hauled down, puck cleared, and this game is gonna go beyond 60 minutes. It will point deficit if they do win this overtime. After starting the night, five behind the Buccaneers who get control as overtime begins. Braden Ford, a big game on Thursday against Omaha. Three points in that one, accelerates to the Hawk line, now slows his pace as he crosses into the zone. Moves to the right wing corner, then goes behind the net, knocked down by Erdman, gets back up, drops the puck out to Van Royen, and he elects to turn back out to center. Van Royen, the Buccaneer captain, started his USHL career in the Siouxland, gives the puck back to Ford, who carries in Ford across the slot, now turns and shoots, and that forehand chance was deflected, missed the net. Protus gets it back and at the center again for Van Roy, and the Buccaneers will change their two forwards. Watkins, fresh to the ice, back in his own zone, now starts up the rink. Watkins makes his way across the Blackhawk line, drop pass, it finds its way to West, turning, shadowed by Miller. West comes across the high slot, elects to turn back out to the neutral zone. Miller did get 
to the ice, replacing Reed. Buccaneers regrouping, and now brought in by Kupcho. Gets the front of the net for a shot, and a good save by Vashon, just getting a piece of that. Now the Hawks come out to the neutral zone with a three-on-one look. Connor Brown to the offensive zone. Brown moves in, he shoots, and a save. Erdman scores! The rebound goal for Griffin Erdman! Hawks win! Hawks win! Griffin Erdman saved the day with a game-tying goal in the third, and he wins the game at 1-18 of overtime. Third assist of the game for Connor Brown after a terrific save by Vashon with the left skate at the other end. Erdman the finish for Waterloo, goal number seven on the season, and his second of the night, Blackhawks three, Buccaneers two with Erdman sweeping the rebound into a wide open side and nothing that Reinhold could do about it. Give Miller credit for a second assist, I think. Maybe Vashon will get the second assist on his save, but Waterloo comes out on top by the final of three to two and a perfect three and oh in overtimes for